Hi everyone, YouTube, Facebook. I'm live on TikTok and I'm about to go live on Instagram. Let me know once you are here. I am going to share this live out. And then we are going to get started. I'm so excited. Are you guys excited? We're talking about money. It is Money March. Let me go live on Instagram. Hey, Instagram, it is Money March. It is Money March. We are doing all things Money in March. So every day on all the platforms, you are going to hear me talking about money, saving money, making money, um, couponing, everything that has to do with money. We're going to be talking about money. It is Money March. So drop your money signs in the chat if you are ready for Money March. I just want to share this live in a couple places on Facebook, and then we are going to get started. So if you are ready for Money March, drop a, a money sign, emails, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Like, I'm so excited. I didn't even have a chance to change my shirt. I was supposed to change my shirt, <laughs> but I was just hanging out with my sister. Ha, ha, ha. We are talking about big financial goals. Thank you, guys. I had to get my ends trimmed, and... um. I haven't had my hair straightened since November 2019. I was supposed to get it done in 2020, but I didn't. My hairdresser hasn't gone back to the salon, but um, I'm in Baltimore. So my mother's hairdresser, um, this woman has been doing her hair since. They're really, really good friends, but I want to say she's been doing my mother's hair for probably as long as I can remember. So at least a good 25, 30 years she's been doing my mom's hair. So I was like, mommy, give me her number. Let me go and get my hair done by her. So she flat ironed it, she blow dried it, she did all, you know, the hairdresser thing, she trimmed my ends really well, and I still have a decent length, so I'm like, I'm loving it because I haven't had my hair straight in forever, forever. Um, Money March. Money March. So drop money signs in. How Belinda? Look on Belinda, I got my hair done. Hey, Wendy. All right, so let me share this in one other place and then we're going to get started. We are talking about money. So get your pen and paper together. Get your pen and paper together because we're talking all about how to big, how to big build, how to build and how to create your big financial goals. So we're going to be talking about creating big financial goals. All right. Hey, yes, drop those money signs if you're ready for Money March. I got to share this in one other place. And we are going to get started. It's all about the money this month. We're saving more money. We're making more money. We are being intentional with our money. We are following our budget. We are allocating our funds. Hey, D, we are paying off that debt. And most, most importantly, we are being intentional. We are being intentional because... You can have $50, but if you allocate that $50 appropriately, you'll be able to make magic with it. And we, I also want to create like abundance, right? There's always more. There's always more. There's always more. More is always coming. You have to just do, do the work and take the action and the more will come. The more will come. So let me just share this slide and we're going to get started with your big financial goals. So if you have not set big financial goals for 2021, it's not too late. Never, ever, ever feel behind. Every day is a good day to start. Every day is a good day to get on track. Every day is a good day to get your money right. So I've got my 2021 budget planner. So before we start about big financial goals, I suggest that everyone, whether you are on a fixed income, if you are unemployed, if you make six figures, if you make seven figures, if you don't have a job, I don't care. You should have a budget planner. You should have something. This is the Erin Condren. It is pricey. But if you are balling on a budget, this is from Dollar Tree. It's $1. It gives you a monthly overview with a lot of lines in it. It gives you a little space for notes. And then there's a little pocket back here where you can put in extra notes pages. You can have this and you can get a really cheap notebook from Dollar Tree. 
this is a five star notebook but whoops i just want to give you an example this could be the key to having your money life in place right with with good action so the, my first tip when building your big financial goals is to have a budget planner is to have a budget planner now if you're a digital person i understand but it's something beautiful about and something I forget what it's exactly called, but there's something inside of us that when we write it down, we retain it more. So if you can write it down, if you can get you a budget planner, it could literally cost you two dollars, y'all, a one dollar planner, a one dollar notebook. Or if you're like me and you have a ton of old notebooks in the house, rip out those old pages and start new with your budget planner. OK, have a place to put your money. Have a place to check back every single month because how will you know you made progress if you haven't been tracking it? So the way that we are going to focus on these big financial goals is we are going to reverse engineer it and we're going to decide what our big financial goal is. And then from there, we're going to decide how we're going to set it and make progress on it. All right. Thank you guys so much. I love it. I love Joya. Joya said new hair. Who this? Geraldine says hi. Cheryl says, I like your hair. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so the first thing that I want you guys to do is take a minute, hey Shakira, take a minute and brain dump all the things you wanna do with your money in 2021. Like, what is it? What is it that your heart desires? Write it all down. Why? You gotta get all those thoughts out of your head and we're gonna categorize them together. But right now, I want you to take a couple minutes and I want you to brain dump what do I want to do with my money? What do I want to comp accomplish? What does my ideal financial situation look like? And I see all the money signs. Yes, yes, yes. What does my ideal financial situation look like? And I want you to write that down. It doesn't have to be organized, but on a piece of paper, just write out what you want your money situation to look like. I put my receipts in here. So that way when I sit down on Fridays and I do my expenses, I can write down what I did. That's a part of my budget. But I want you to take a minute and I want you to write out all the things that you think you want to do for this year. And when you're done, type done. Brains up everything you want to do with your money in 2021. Write it out. Write it all out. I got to finish filling in the rest of my budget. Write it all out. Everything. And dream big, because we're talking about big financial goals. So, oh, look at my mother joining on Instagram. Kern, you over here on Instagram. Write out all your big financial goals. So, I'll give you guys an example of mine. My big financial goal for this year is to pay off my credit card debt, which is thousands to save money for a house down payment, and then also just to have money in my savings account. Those are my three big financial goals. On top of my business goal of how much money I desire to make every month to live the lifestyle I want and also to fund those financial goals, I have a business goal of how much money I need to make every month. So once you're done brain dumping, I want you to type done in the chat. I love your hair. Thank you, mother. My mother is so funny, y'all. I want you to brain dump all that stuff down. And I'm gonna switch my glasses to my blue light blocker glasses. Once you're done, type done. Once you're done, type done. Once you're done, type done. Once you have written out your big, your, your everything your heart desires, you brain dumped it all out, now you're going to look at everything through the lens of what's happened in this year. So what things do you need to spend your money on? So you just wrote down all your money stuff, but what things do you need to spend your money on? I'll give you an example. Christmas, birthdays, vacations, events. What is coming up that you need to have money for for the rest of the year? So from March into December, what are big financial pockets in your life? You need to write those down. And this is important, why? Because if you're planning a $10,000 vacation and you wanna save money, and maybe you decide you wanna save $10,000 and you only make 
X amount of dollars, you have to decide, are you going to still shoot to save 10,000 or are you going to reduce your vacation, whatever it is. So I need you to take a minute and look to see what else do you have? Vacation, moving? Yes, feel free to share. Those are all good. Um, you need to kind of write those down too because you need to know like, oh, for me, for Kinsley, her birthday's in May. I usually spend two to $300 for Kinsley's birthday. Birthdays are coming up. Bay's birthday's in June. He wants to go to some beach in Florida. I need to put money away for that because that's going to be a whole vacation, right? Uh, Christmas. Um, my family wants to go to the beach. I know there's going to be at least like two families, girls trips that my family wants to go on. I don't know the exact amounts, but if I average, I usually spend somewhere between $600 and $1,000 per vacation. Shoot high, save $1,000 for every vacation. We need to have all these things down because you can't, I'm not going to say you can't. It's not wise to say, oh, I'm going to save $10,000 a month for all this stuff when you're only making $7,000 a month. Can you do it? Absolutely. But will you need to come up with more creative ways to make more money? Absolutely. So once you have everything written down on paper, you can see, all right, these are the big financial goals. These are the practical things that we need to do. Where can I set? Where can I set? how much I'm actually going to allocate to each fund. Make sense? So write down all the things that you want to do, you're going to do, you already said, yes, I'm doing for the rest of this year, money-wise, so you can have a clear picture of it. And once all of that is done, you're going to group the like things together. What do I mean by that? So if there's three birthday things, so for Kinsley's birthday, for Bay's birthday, my sister's birthday's coming up. I know she want to do something too. I could literally create a birthday fund. Then I would create a vacation fund. Then I would create a moving fund. We can put all those categories together, right? And from there, from there, I know you're probably like, Crystal, this is a lot of work. Yeah, because you got to be thorough. How will you know? how much you need if you don't know what you really plan to do. Now, will smaller things come up in between where you're like, oh, we wanna do this, we wanna do that, yeah. But you'll be able to have a clear financial picture of if your cousins are like, girl, we are gonna go to Puerto Rico. And you may say, girl, that's not in my budget because I've already committed to this, 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 and this. I only make X amount of dollars and I only have X amount to use towards trips. Make sense? I love it. You have to have a system. Yes, you have got to have a system. There is a method to the madness. You, my sister and my mother will tell you all the time. I'm like, mm, that ain't in the budget. <laughs> that is not in the budget. And if you want me to budget it, you got to give me enough time to put it in the budget because every dollar has a place. So when it comes to thinking about these big financial goals, these are the things that are going to take you a little bit longer to accomplish. This isn't like a one a one hit or quitter where it's in one month, it's all done. These are things that you're going to be saving towards all year. And kind of along that lines is if you know you're going to go on vacation in October, you don't want to wait until July to start saving for your vacation in October. If you know about that vacation in October before, you start saving for it. It's a big financial goal. It's a vacation, right? So once you have all your like things together, now this is where you put your big girl panties on, your big boy panties on, and you decide what big financial goals do I decide that I'm working towards for the year? So I told you guys mine. Pay off the credit card debt, house down payment, and a general savings account. That does not include all the vacations and birthdays. Why? This may sound bad, but even if all three of they, these things do not get fully funded, 99 out of 100, I'm still going to go on all of these vacations and celebrate all the birthdays because you have got to live your life. If I spend my whole year just saving and not doing anything, what fun is that? You got to celebrate. So those vacations are going to be celebrations. So even if I don't fully fund all three of my big financial goals, I'm still making progress on them. And I still had fun along the way. <laughs> no, I'm not going to sacrifice living on the streets to go on vacation. That's not smart. But I will prioritize the family time, the vacation time, because if you literally are all work and no play, 
that's a perfect recipe for a binge in the sense of you ain't working on no financial goals. You're just spending your money recklessly on whatever you want. That's a binge. I've been there before. You don't ever want to be in a place where you're like, I really wish I could. I know I can, but you hold yourself back. You, you don't want to do that to yourself. If this is making sense, type yes in the chat. So I kind of went off my notes a little bit, but it's feeling good. <laughs> if this is making sense, type yes in the chat. If this is helpful, let me know. Type a yes in the chat. But once you decide your big financial goals, now we're going to make progress on them and we're going to decide how much are we allocating to these financial goals? How much are we allocating to these financial goals? And if this has been helpful for you, I would like for I would like to invite you to my save $100 in 3 days challenge. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about it in, in a little bit, but I invite you to join this 3-day challenge where I'm going to show you how to save $100 in 3 days through couponing, budgeting, and meal planning. Okay? You're going to want to be in that challenge. You're going to want to be in that challenge. It's March 14th through 16th, okay? Make a mental note of that, and I'm going to come back to it. Now that you've chosen your three big, one to three big financial goals, let us know in the chat what your one to three big financial goals are. What is it that you want to work towards? You've brain dumped everything. You've categorized what's important. What are your three big financial goals? Some of, some of your big financial goals may be to just go on vacation. There's a lot of people who just haven't gone on vacation, whether it be COVID, work, whatever, just go on vacation. And when you guys uh, think about traveling during COVID, a vacation does not have to mean that you're dry, you're flying to Bora Bora. A vacation could mean you drive to the next city or even the next state, stay in a private little hotel and just go to the beach. It does not have to be as exuberant as you're thinking. You can still travel and be safe, right? You can still travel and be safe, but you have got to get that release out. We stayed in the house way too long last year. So within your comfortability, make sure, hey, Tyree, congrats to you, girlfriend, on your engagement. Stay within your realm of what's comfortable, but stop saying, oh, we'll go next year. Oh, we'll go next year. Oh, we'll go next year. Decide right now that vacation is a priority. Even if you just get a hotel in the next city and stay there by yourself for a couple days, get some room service, watch some trash TV, eat your favorite meals. Like, come on. Stop putting it off. And this is why I wanted to have this live because we have got to prioritize ourselves and prioritize our financial goals. If your goal is to start a business to make extra money, what are you waiting for? Christmas, because if you keep saying you're going to start this business, you keep saying you're going to start this business, you keep saying you're going to start this side hustle, like put it down, put it down on the paper and do it. So with your big financial goals, please feel free to share. Let's see what you're saying. Yes, you have got to you have got to live while saving and allocating. Yes. And some people may not agree with me. That's why I don't agree with everything that your old boy Dave Ramsey says, because he's like eat rice and beans until you reach your financial goals. And God forgive me with the way COVID is knocking people out. You could be dead before you reach all your financial goals in the sense of like paying off your mortgage and all that stuff. Like live your life. Life is so short and precious that yeah, we wanna be making progress on these big financial goals, but I don't want life to pass me by and I tell my friends I can't go on no, no vacations and I can't spend time with my family and no, we can't have a birthday party because we're paying off our credit cards at like, come on now, there's, there's a good balance. We can't have a $3,000 birthday party, but we can have a $400 birthday party and still pay off our debt. We can have a, a $500, $600 mini vacation and still be paying down our mortgage. If you've been following me, you always hear me say in your budget, you have got to have fun monies. Because if you do a no spin, I say try to do a no spin for a week. But you need to give yourself something inside of there because otherwise, what did I say? You will binge. Yes, D, you need a balance. You have got to be balanced. All work and no play, you'll end up just blowing your money. I promise. I, I know. I, I've done it before. 
Visit my daughter in Wyoming for a month. Oh, I love that, Geraldine. Julia says, funding our wedding and honeymoon, the rest of the consumer debt, keep building my savings, and stay on top of my budget and house buying. Love it, Julia. I love it. I needed that permission to take a vacation. Yes, as long as you stay safe. I am not downplaying COVID by any means. But if you've been to Walmart or your local grocery store lately, you can go on vacation. Because when you're out and about on vacation, I'm pretty sure it's less people than the Walmart and the local grocery store. I've been to a beach in Maryland. I've been to a beach in Florida. We were socially distanced away from people when we were sitting on the beach. The same way I went to go eat in a restaurant when I'm at home was the same way we went to go eat in a restaurant at vacation. Just stay safe, bring your wipes, bring your hand sanitizer, but live. Don't be reckless, but make, but, but make yourself happy. One, pay cash for a car. I love it. New flooring for the house. 2K in my emergency fund. I love it. Cheryl, paid off house. Saving for emergency and husband surgery. I love it. I don't know who this is, but thank you, thank you, thank you. You said you love my hair. I can't see your name. I can't see your name. Um, let me see if I can pull up my Facebook. Let's see if I can see you on my Facebook. My Facebook's taking too long to load. So whoever that is, I don't know who it is. Let me see. It's not showing me the comments on Facebook. She said it's so long. Yes, natural hair, the shrinkage is real. The shrinkage is real. Erica says so true, yes. Geraldine said paid off credit cards, attend my daughter's wedding, keep building up my savings. I love it. It's Sharita. hey Rita. You cute all. Thank you, D. All right. So we've chosen our big financial goals and now we're going to make progress on them. All right. Before I tell you how to make progress when the hair is working leader from the academy. Hey, Lita. Before we reverse engineer and we come up with our plan of how we're going to save and I whip out my whiteboard. I'm giving I'm, I'm giving y'all a lesson like I give in the academy. This is this is what you can get inside my academy. This kind of lesson. I'm going to whip out the whiteboard. But first, I'm going to tell you guys about my challenge so you guys can go and sign up for the challenge. The challenge is March 14th through the 16th, and it's save $100 in three days. If you want to save $100, put $100 in the comments. Put $100 in the comments if you want to save $100. If you want to save $100. Now, this challenge is meant to help you jumpstart your savings so that you can actually see the money in your bank account. I have been talking to so many people, and I see so many people on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok who are couponing, but they still don't have any extra money in their savings account. Why? Because they are not intentionally putting that money to good use. They are not intentionally putting that money into another bank account. They are not intentionally putting that money to something else that's great. Now you are over here getting free toothpaste, but what are you doing with the money that you used to spend on toothpaste? You're out here getting $2 laundry soap, but what are you doing with that extra $4 that you're not spending on laundry soap anymore? So in the save $100 in three days challenge, I'm going to show you through budgeting, couponing, and meal planning how you can put $100 in your savings account. Some of you are going to find that you have more than $100 to save. Some of you are going to find that you have been recklessly spending, and that is okay because when you know better, you can do better. So from March on, you can be better, okay? So in the challenge, it's going to be live every day. Every day for 90 minutes, I'm going to be live around the topic. So day one is budgeting. Day two is couponing. Day three is meal planning. You're going to get a workbook so that you can take action. Listening to me is great, but if you don't take action, the money is not going to be in your bank account. You can sign up for the challenge. You can join my academy. Hell, you can sign up for one-on-ones with me. But if you don't do the work, you are not going to save money. You can pay for a gym membership. But if you don't get your butt on that treadmill, if you don't eat better and drink water, you ain't going to lose a pound. You're not going to tone that nair, nair muscle. You hear me? You have got to do the work. So you get a workbook to take action and actually do the work. You get access to the replays for seven days. And there's a private pop-up Facebook group. If you don't have Facebook, it's all right. You can definitely get a Facebook and join just for the group. But I will be streaming it live to a private area on YouTube so you can still join. All right, so save $100 in three days. There is a cost, it is a small cost. It's $2.99. 
you will 30 times your investment if you do the work. So I do not want to hear you say, you ain't got $2.99. If you don't go find 12 quarters in your house so that you can learn how to save $100, like, come on now. Because I know when you pay, you show up better. When you invest in yourself, you show up stronger. There is a VIP option as well. If you want to have live Q&As with me before and after the challenge, there is a VIP option. So go to kristamaximizer.com forward slash challenge to sign up for the challenge. If you are in the academy, you get the challenge for free. There is a code in the academy for you to get the challenge for free. So go to kristamaximizer.com forward slash challenge and sign up. Tanisha, make sure you go to the academy to get the academy code. There's a code in the academy. Hey, hey, hey. All right. So the three-day challenge, kristamaximizer.com. What is it? Oh, the sticker. kristamaximizer.com slash challenge. And you're going to learn how to save $100 in three days through couponing, budgeting, and meal planning. If you have been interested in working with me, but you did not want to invest in the academy, you don't want to do one-on-ones, you never bought a course, you never bought a class, this is going to be the best way for you to get a taste of what it's like to coach and work with me for literal pennies. It's $2.99. Invest in yourself, sis. Invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. It's going to be the best $2.99 you ever spent because you're going to learn how to save 100 If I told you to give me $2 and I would give you back 100 wouldn't you do it? So what you waiting for? All right. So now we're going to reverse engineer our big financial goals. So we're, I'm going to use a nice round number. And let's just say all in, we want to save $10,000 by November 1st. And all my devices are being used. So I got to pull up the calculator because math is not my strong suit. I can count money, but I still need a calculator. All right. So we got $10,000 and we have all of March, all of April, all of May, all of June, all of July, all of August, all of September, all of October. So that's eight months. So let's just say for all three of our big financial goals for the next eight months, we want to get it. See, I want to make sure everyone can see TikTok, Facebook, YouTube. This is it. We have eight months to save $10,000. But you can decide where you want to or how long you have to save for. So if you want to buy a house in two years and you want to save $20,000, that means you have 24 months. If you want to go on vacation in October and it's only going to cost you $1,500, you got seven months to get $1,500. So you decide how long it takes. But we're going to fast track it. We want to save $10,000 in eight months. So you take that amount divided by eight. So every month, so every month, you would need to put away $1,250. And that's for eight months. If we did it over 12 months, it would be a little less. Divided by 12 it would be like 800, we're going to round it up to $840 a month. So this is if you did 12 and this is if you did eight months. You see how I did that? Y'all, you can do this with everything. Vacations, savings accounts, birthdays. Know how long you have to save and break it down. Because if you sit here and you tell yourself, oh my gosh, I need $10,000 by November. You're going to overwhelm yourself. But if you're like, oh. If I'm going to do this for a year, I only need $840 a month. It's doable. So then to go one step further, break this down either by week or by paycheck. So if you were to break $1,250 down per week, if you get paid every week or maybe you have a side hustle, we'll divide that by four. We need $313 a week. And then you can do it by paycheck as well. And then if we do $840, divided by four, you can do 210 a week. So now you have your big financial goal to save $10,000 by November 1st or $10,000 in a year. To save, to have $10,000 in a year, y'all, all you need is 840 a month, which is 210 a week. 
Now, if you don't make two ten a week at your job, if you don't have two ten a week to allocate, what are you going to do to make that two ten? What side hustle do you have? What are you going to do? What are you going to reduce? What are you going to give up? What are you going to sacrifice so that you can meet? What are you going to sacrifice so that you can meet this goal? The ring lights in the way. Make sense? So set your big financial goals. Decide how much you're going to put toward every single month, every single week, every single paycheck. Write it down on paper. The most important thing is where are you going to put the money? You have to decide where you're going to put it under the mattress, in a box, in a separate bank account. It cannot be in with your same money. And you also need to make it plain for yourself in the sense of I have sticky notes all over here. All right. I have big financial goals. My goal is to help 500 member, 500 families join the academy this year so that we can collectively save over $1.5 million. That is my impact goal is to help 500 families. My money goal is to make, and I'll tell y'all because I don't care, is to make $15,000 per month. That will allow me to grow my team and pay my team members. That will allow me to pay down my credit card debt and buy a house. But it also allows me to make that impact of these 500 members. It ain't about the money. The money is a means to the end. It's about me helping those families. Do you know how many people's lives have changed being in this membership? How many people who've been able to do things that they otherwise didn't think they could or what it took them years and years and years to realize, oh, I can do this a better way. Life changing. People are paying off cars and buying RVs and going on vacation and not living paycheck to paycheck anymore and doing things that they didn't otherwise think they would be able to by being in this membership. So yes, I want to help 500 people change their lives. I want to help 500 people look at money better and start to not pay full price for things they don't have to. That's my impact goal. And as I'm impacting 500 people, I will earn the income that I need to impact my family and to change my family's life, pay off my credit card debt, buy us a new house. Okay? Do you hear me? So when you make a change, when you make progress on your big financial goal, think about that ripple effect, right? So me desiring to help 500 families helps those 500 families plus my family. And then if my family sees me doing this, they're like, oh, hell, Crystal can do that. I can do that, too. And then even if all these 500 families outside of that, think about the YouTube reach. Think about all of you. If you're not in the membership already, I've still touched your life in a little bit like in a little way, right? I still helped you. My impact goal is still being reached because I'm helping people every single day. Money is just an energy exchange. For me to show up in my best energy and for you to show up in your best energy, you got to invest. I tell y'all all the time, I invested thousands in my coach. She's a million dollar coach. To be in her energy, I had to invest in myself because if, if all of her stuff was free, you would halfway show up you'd halfway do the work. But when I got to pay that invoice every month for thousands, I got to show up differently. I got to do the work. Some of my maximizers that are watching here right now, when I tell you every live, every event, anything that I had, they're there. That is how I am for my coach because I want to soak up all of her goodness because I want to get where she is and beyond. And I want my maximizers to save more than me. I want them to make more than me. I want them to help more people than me. So your big financial goals don't only help you, they help everybody. It's like a cyclical thing where we're all helping each other. All right. So break it down. Do your math. How much do you want to save? How much do you need to have? By what date? Break it down and put it on paper. That is why bringing it full circle back to the budget planner. Savings in your big financial goals need to be a non-negotiable line item in your budget. So savings in your financial goals need to be a non-negotiable in your budget. So I don't care if you're on a five-year plan to buy a house. That's your prerogative. But every month you should be putting money towards that house fund for those whole five years. Could you imagine if you saved $10,000 a year for five years? You'd have 50000 down payment, closing costs, furniture. You'd have everything you need. Start now. And I'm going to tell you something else, and then I'm going to answer your questions. So if you have questions, please drop them in. Please, please, please drop your questions in. 
my sister and I, all through college, all through life now, we always have a vacation fund. Even if we don't have a vacation planned, if we don't know where we're going yet, we were always saving towards a vacation fund. When I had my nine to five, I think I put like $50 a week into a vacation fund. So whenever there was a vacation that was going to be planned, I would just pull money from there and I already had money for the hotel. If we got to pay up front, rental car, flights, I already had a little chunk of money. And then I would be like, okay, this vacation is going to cost me $800. I'll make sure my $800 is in there by the time we leave. And if we need to pay for anything beforehand, I have money in my vacation fund to cover that. So things that you know you always want to do, you always want to have access for, save for it now. Save for it now. Let me see your questions. It will be the best $2.99 you ever spent. I think that is so worth it. Yes, the three-day challenge, $2.99. To save $100 in three days, go sign up right now. Is the VIP with the membership? Okay, so the VIP, you have to pay for Tanisha. If you're in the academy, you get the $299, which is the basic portion included. And then if you want to upgrade to VIP, you can get the VIP. The VIP is only $12. So literally, y'all, for the whole experience, it's $14.99 for everything. Like, And you're going to 10 times your investment as long as you do the work. As long as you do the work, you will 10 times your investment. As long as you do the work, you're going to 10 times your investment. But you have got to do the work. Please drop in your questions. Julia says, I'm excited. Yes, me too. Love that breakdown. Thank you. Crystal clear, Chris. Thank you. Yes, she is. She can get the code. I'm one. You've helped me so much. Oh, you're so welcome, Rita. It's free. Okay, yeah, with the code in the Facebook, Facebook group. Thank you. Erica says, I look at my money differently since joining Swap, which is the name of my academy. And the membership is open, too. If you're so moved to join the membership, the membership is open. You can join that as well. You join the membership, you get the, um, the challenge for free, the $2.99 version. But in the membership, you're going to learn how to save $300 plus every single month. And most maximizers save a whole lot more than $300. And they change their lives and not just with money. VIP is $12. Regular is $2.99. Buy what you need. In couponing, we tend to grab so many things we don't need because it's free or on sale and there's coupons. It's not necessary to use every coupon. If no one uses it and it's not a need, I walk away now. Oh my goodness, Rita. Yes. When it comes to couponing, and I'm going to do a live on this very soon. When it comes to couponing, you do not need to feel the pressure to do every single deal. When they made this coupon booklet, they knew that not everyone was going to use this. And I'm going to tell you why. Does everyone wear contacts? Does everyone need contact solution? No, some of us blindies that wear glasses and wear contacts, we need this. But most of the population, if they don't have contacts, they're never going to use this coupon. You're not going to use this. Do you smoke cigars? If you don't smoke cigars, you, you, no, no. Do you feel the pressure to, to do this five-star cigar collection and you don't smoke cigars? No. Like, if you don't have a baby, would you buy diapers? No. Here's another thing. If you don't have a baby and there's no babies in your family, you don't need to clip this coupon. Even if the baby stuff is on sale for a dollar, why would you spend your time, your money, your energy, your effort doing a deal for something that you and your family cannot use? Buy what you need, regardless of what's on sale. Buy what you need. My only exception for that is cheap toilet paper and toothpaste. You can never have too much of those. We always gonna need those. And those are great items that you can donate or sell if needed. I was thinking about doing that for vacation or Christmas. Yes, a lot of people do that for both because they're both things that you need every single year. Every single year it's gonna come up. Okay, where do I go to VIP? Go to kristamaximizer.com forward slash challenge. Get the code from the membership, Tanisha. And then you can pay for the VIP right there. 
So if you're ready to learn how to save $100 in three days, go ahead and join this challenge right here. All right, Ifra, I don't have a newspaper. My second rant of the day, love this question. Stop thinking you need a newspaper to coupon effectively. This came in the mail. Even if this didn't come in the mail, I have not bought paper inserts in like three or four weeks. I've done couponing hauls every week. You do not need a newspaper to coupon. All you need is your phone, a mobile device. All you need is a phone in order to coupon. If you are following me, if you are listening to me, couponing is strategic. Couponing starts at home. So in my academy, in this challenge, I'm gonna be showing you how to create a strategy to get what you want, like, and need without breaking the bank. Please stop thinking that you need a newspaper to coupon. All you need is a phone and to download the apps of the stores that you're going to shop at and use the coupons there. So I would love to invite you to my challenge. Please go, the link is in my bio, go to christhemaximizer.com forward slash challenge. I'll type it here on TikTok and sign up for the three-day challenge. And one of the days, day two, is actually about couponing. So we're gonna talk about a coupon strategy and how you can save money with couponing. So you can put that $100 back into your bank account. Target is amazing. Target is a great place to save lots of money and you don't need paper coupons. The Target app alone will save you at least 20 to 30%. So if you're used to spending $100 a week at the grocery store and you just save 20%, you literally can save $20 a week just by using your digital coupons. Please come to the challenge. If you guys are enjoying this live and it's been helpful, drop some money signs in the chat for me. I'm doing a challenge with my daughter so I can buy her a car. Yay, that's awesome. That's awesome. I would love to have you join my challenge as well, Josie. So you can learn some tips, tricks, and techniques to use couponing, budgeting, and meal planning to help you save even more money. Because a lot of you are probably overspending more than you would like at the grocery store. Um, Erica says, I wanna do it, but I have to make time for it. I will make time, it's worth it. Yes, girl. What if I need a pedicure? So self-care is coming from this challenge. What I need, yes. You have got to, Julia, you know we talked about this in the academy. You have got to put your self-care items in the things that are not necessities but make you feel good that you want to indulge in every single month. You have got to put them inside of your budget. So, like, I haven't got my hair done in a salon since November 2019. I had to put that in the budget. I had to allocate these funds because I needed to trim more than anything. OK, so you have to put that in a budget. My nails, my waxes. Waxing makes me feel good. Does anybody else see that wax except for me and Bay? No, but it makes me feel good. So I'm getting that bikini wax. I'm getting that Brazilian wax whenever I feel like it because it allows me to feel better. If getting your pedicure makes you feel good, put it in your budget. Now, Joya, we're not getting a pedicure every week, but. I don't go every four weeks for stuff. I go like every six weeks. And for my nails, I, I usually don't go every two weeks. I usually go every three to four weeks because my nails kind of grow a little bit slower now. So I will go every three to four weeks. I'm overdue right now. Don't judge me. I know my sister's like, get your nails done. But you get the point. The point is put it in the budget. Put it in the budget. Yes, put it in the budget. What else? You're welcome. I felt the pressure to do couponing on money makers. Then I stopped. Now I only buy what I need. Yes, please don't feel the pressure. I love couponing at Publix. Publix is awesome for certain deals. Publix, CVS, Walgreens, and even Target. They're expensive places to shop. If I don't have coupons, if there's not any sales, if there's not any deals, you won't catch me dead shopping in those stores. I'm only shopping there because I have coupons, because I have discounts, because there's sales going on that makes it worth my while. 
okay? Us maximizers know it well. Buy what you need. Yes. COVID taught many about toilet paper stocking. So glad I was already a couponer. Yes. And if there's one thing you've learned from COVID that you didn't know before, you need to strategically shop and have a stockpile of the things that your family wants, likes, and needs because you never know what might happen. So yes, come and join the challenge. Again, it's March 14th through the 16th. We are going to be talking all about how you will save $100 in three days through day one, budgeting, day two, couponing, day three, meal planning. And I can tell you this, I had a, whim, a, woman, a woman join the academy. The first day she did her budget, she found $1,000 that she wasted. $1,000 in two months. She was like, Crystal, the past two months, I've wasted $500 each month. Here I am living paycheck to paycheck and I found $500 a month in my budget. Geraldine, after she got in the academy and looked at her budget, $600 that she was wasting every single month, $600 she was wasting that she found. And now she's been so intentional with that money. That's like what, six grand a year she's been saving? Six grand a year that she's been more intentional with. She's been able to do amazing things for her family with that money because she's intentional. So the method to my madness, it works. It works. Get what you need. Thumbs up the video. Yes, I see all the money signs. I love it. I love it. Yes, I canceled the newspaper. It wasn't bringing the coupon booklet. It was supposed to. Understood. Yeah, girl. Brazilians are life. They are everything. I went to the page, but I don't see where the VIP. Click the little button. Um, actually, I'll show you. All right, I'm going to do a quick walkthrough and show you what it looks like. I don't know what that is. Um, okay, let me walk you guys through this really quick. I'll show you. I'll walk you through what the challenge site looks like. I keep typing on the wrong website. If you guys have questions, now is the time to ask. Hello, hello, hello. We're talking about um, financial goals and how to build them, how to set them. We started talking a little bit about other things too. Um, but let's go to the website. I'm going to do a screen share and um, show you guys what this is looking like. Okay, so Instagram and TikTok, I'm not going to be able to show both. Uh, so I'm going to show Instagram. Okay, so this is what the website is going to look like. Don't mind my crazy desk. All right. So this is the website, kristamaximizer.com. You're going to go up here. You're going to click on $100 challenge. And then this is the page you're going to come to. Scroll down, click, I'm ready to save $100. And then you're going to get to the payment portal. You'll put in all your information. We talk about what the challenge includes. Three days of lives. It's 90 minutes every day. Um, a workbook to help you take action, a private Facebook group with one week's access and daily giveaways. Um, and then down here, Tanisha, is where you click the become a VIP. And then it'll add. And if you get both options, it's only $14.99. The VIP includes two Zoom live sessions. So in the VIP, you're going to get a pre-challenge live. And the pre-challenge live, we will get you ready for the challenge. And then the post-challenge live, we will talk about implementation and how you can repeat this every single month to save lots of money. Okay? Make sense? Hey, Ro. I joined SWAT, but I'm working like crazy trying to find a balance between both jobs. I understand. Make sure you watch the replays and submit in your questions. Our next live is Monday at 9. And this month in the Academy, we're talking all things CBS. So we did our budget and goal settings live. And the next Monday, it's our first live about CBS. So if you need CBS help, you might want to get in the Academy. 
I already bought. Can I upgrade to VIP? Yes. Shoot us an email and I can send you the direct link to the VIP option. So shoot me an email, so I bet, and I can get you set up for the VIP option. Just hello at KristaMaximizer.com and say, hey, I would love the link to VIP and I can send that to you. Thanks. Thanks, Hope. Thanks, bro. I appreciate it. I'm totally late. I just seen the notification. Just finished my mom here. Ooh, nice. Okay. Any questions? Just the recap. To set your big financial goals, you first want to brain dump everything. You want to look to see what other financial things you need to handle this year. You want to group the like things together. You want to choose one to three big financial goals. Once you choose your big financial goals, you're going to do the math and allocate your funds. So in this example, we did $10,000 either in eight months or 10 months, 12 months. So eight months is twelve fifty a month, and that's three thirteen a week. Twelve months is uh, eight forty a month or two ten a week, and then you're gonna make progress on that by transferring that money to another bank account, putting it under your mattress, wherever you want to put it is up to you. But you have got to make a plan and you have got to take action. Now, one thing I didn't talk about during this live was when you're checking in with your budget. That's when you want to be making these savings transfers. So in the academy. We set up our budgets together every month. So I don't do my budgets live on the internet anymore. I do them with the with the members of my membership community. And then every Friday, I encourage them to check in with their budget. And we do two budget check-ins throughout the month where I say, hey, how's it going? Are you on budget? Are you over budget? Are you on budget? Like what's going on? So that you can check in. But I encourage you to make a money date with yourself every week. That way you can transfer your money into savings for your financial goals or for whatever else you you know need to put your money away for. You can make sure all your bills are being paid. You can make sure that all your auto pays are coming out like they're supposed to. You never know if something goes kooky or awry. So check in with your money every week. And if you want more, more help with that and you're like, yeah, I signed up for the challenge, but I want more, you're more than welcome to join um, my membership community. It is also available. So that's pretty much it. Does anybody have any other questions before we go? Questions, comments, concerns? Please don't wait till the last minute to get into this challenge. Especially for the VIP, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, spots are limited because it's on Zoom. So I only have a certain amount of seats that I can put in for the Zoom. There's only a certain amount of seats I can put in for the Zoom. So if you want the VIP, get the VIP. Buy what you need is so right. I'm sitting on $50 in ECBs for CVS and not interested in any of the deals. Understood. One other thing I do at CVS is I buy food items. If my extra bucks are close to expiring and there's no deals I want to do, I will go and I will do buy anything that's on sale that's food wise that I like. So I went in there once and bought milk, cereal, snacks, chips. Stuff like that, stuff for Kinsley's lunch. Excuse me. I had that five off 25 grocery and then I had like 20 or $15 in extra bucks and I think I only paid like $4 um, out of pocket. Yeah, water's a good one too, especially when it's on sale for $2.99. Any other questions before I go? Go ahead, join the challenge. If you have questions, feel free to shoot me a message on Instagram, but you are not gonna want to miss out on this. Oh, and I forgot to say, there's gonna be daily giveaways in the challenge. So I have some stuff to give away every single day inside the challenge, so you are not going to wanna miss it. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, I have a whole room full of stuff, going to burn them on coffee water. And I do. Sounds good. I'm tired. I've been staying up to three o'clock in the morning every night. Any other questions? This is good, guys. So again, message me on Instagram if you have questions. If you're in my free Facebook group, Couponing with Krista Maximizer, I'm sending out personal invites to everyone in that group um, via Facebook Messenger. So check your Facebook Messenger because I will be sending out invites to everyone. There's a lot of people in that group. It's taking me a long time, a long time. But my goal is to send out private invites to everyone. If you have questions on TikTok, feel free to shoot me a message on TikTok as well. 
I need this. My dog is a diabetic and I have to change food and it's more money, pay for the vet insulin. Yes, our furry family members, add them to your budget as well. Add your furry family members to your budget as well. You want to add your furry family members to your budget as well because you have to spend money on them. So why not? Add them to your budget, okay? Any other questions before we go? This was awesome. Thank you guys so much for joining. The replays will be up. I'll be live a couple more times before the challenge, but you guys are not going to want to miss that. Go sign up. Get the VIP option. Let's hang out together for like, if you get VIP, that's five days with me. Janice P, may as well and get ready for spring. I save automatically bi weekly. That's perfect. But all right, you guys. Hi, Annie. I'm actually about to hop off now. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and watch this replay and then shoot me any questions uh, via DM. I'll be happy to answer them. So you all have a good rest of your evening. Bye.